Good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali. If you guys are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on. Today is a lake day. We live in Austin and there's a lake out kind of 45 minutes away. It's called Lake Travis. Usually we go there to go on a boat, but this time we're gonna do like the lake access. It's almost like a little beach. So I'm very excited. We're gonna bring like all of our inflatables. We're going with our friends Mackenzie and Connor, so it should be really fun. We're first gonna get Starbucks and then we're gonna go to HB and grab a few things to eat during the day. back home we went to HEB and just got like a couple things but last lake season I made these like Hawaiian roll sandwiches and they were so good so I decided we need to make them again for today's lake day so all you need is Hawaiian rolls and I was like walking to the store I was like they're probably already gone because I feel like Hawaiian rolls are a very big like summary thing to get especially if there's like cookouts going on um but basically you just keep them in here and then wait i think i have to take them out and then i have to cut them i can't remember how i did this first basically you have to like cut them open to make them a sandwich but then you like put them back in here so let me get a knife okay let's do it Maybe six at a time, that would probably be easier. Put it back in there, and then we're gonna take off like the top of it, and hopefully they're kind of like still intact. Hopefully, okay. So yeah, like that. <laughs> and then this side. All right, now we're gonna douse it in sauce. <laughs> so I love the Chick-fil-A sauce. And you can buy this at the grocery store. It's kind of running low, but not to worry. We have backups in this house. <laughs> and we also got like Pringles. I feel like Pringles is just like the best kind of like beach pool snack. I remember that's like the only time I ever really had Pringles is if we went to the beach. <laughs> and so that's kind of like stuck with me over the years. We're gonna bring our chairs. They're nothing great. I can't remember why we even got them in the first place. They weren't even for camping, so I'm not sure why we got the chairs, but now we have them and we don't even use them, which we need to. We need to like go to Zilker, bring our chairs, play with Sophie. It's getting too hot out here to do all that though. We had like two days of beautiful weather this past week. Oh, I just wish I could stay like that. Then Austin would be the most perfect city ever. Well, besides California. I guess the whole state because it's so nice like the weather is so nice in california i always say if i had the money i'd be in california <laughs> but it is pricey over there and honestly austin is getting pricey too in my last vlog i told you guys that um the rent is going up i think i said like 300 400 but i think it's actually 500 dollars, which <laughs> love that for me and i really can't move anywhere else because everywhere else is just very subpar like i really like my apartment complex so it's not even worth like hiring the movers and all that kind of stuff because i vowed to myself the first time i moved i was like i'll never do that again like i'm always gonna hire movers if i am able to okay so next we'll do the cheese white american i don't know you can do whatever you want it's 10 12 right now and i want to leave the house by like 10 35 so i'm kind of in a rush and i wanted to wake up a lot earlier than i did and i also feel bad because we're leaving sophie the whole day but um the longest we've left her at least the longest time i that i remember is acl and she didn't pee once i was like okay are you okay <laughs> um because we have puppy pads and stuff for when we're gone for long periods of time. So hopefully she'll be okay today. But I was like really surprised by that because we were toying with the idea of getting like just a sitter for the day for ACO. But she's pretty good on her own, so. I don't have too much to worry about, thank goodness. 
I've always wanted to get those like, um, what's called Furbo cameras, like the dog cameras, but I feel like I would see her just like chilling alone or something and feel bad and want to come home. So it kind of like ruin just like being out with my friends or something or just like I would feel a lot more guilty if I like saw her, even though she'd probably be totally fine. Okay, so now we're just gonna lay, I think he bought ham. I think this is ham, it smells like it. These are so good. We literally took this whole thing out with us on, um, what's it called? I'm gonna do a little sauce on top. But we took this out with us to tubing on um, Lake Austin. There's this like little area right um, in front of Zilker Park, like kind of like at the point of Zilker Park where you can like take out your tubes or just like go paddle boarding over there. And then there's like a sandbar and it's like one of my favorite things to do like literally last summer. I'm pretty sure I did it every weekend. Um, but we brought these and they were just so good. It's like so simple too, but just the best kind of snack in the water. This is starting to look not very appetizing. <laughs> Next up is the buns, right? I don't think I'm missing anything else. Just plop them back on. Okay, now the hardest part is just to like cut them evenly because you can't really tell where the original lines are. And the best part is that you can like literally keep it in this container. You don't have to like find another container as big or like a casserole dish. And you can put it back in the Hawaiian bread roll bag and everything. So. Very easy, all done. Look how good that looks, mini sandwiches. My mom used to actually buy like rotisserie chicken, I believe, or like had leftover chicken from the night before. And she would make these like leftover like Hawaiian rolls and they were delicious. Like they were one of my favorite lunches. And she was like the queen of, now I'm realizing that all the meals I really liked were pretty easy for the most part, I think. Um, and I don't know, I was a simple gal back then. Bam, done. Just need to find that little, where'd that thing go? <laughs> Sandwiches complete. This is the outfit of the day. It's from Albion Fit and it's a little swim skirt. Well, actually I score because it's shorts, obviously. I love it because it has so much like coverage going on. And since we'll be like in and out of the lake, I don't feel like I need to put on like my white button down because I'm like insecure. I feel like this is just like an outfit on its own, you know? So I will link it down below if you guys are interested, but like we need to make this a thing. Swim skirts, I'm obsessed with it. I'm not gonna do makeup today, but I am going to put on unseen sunscreen. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Unseen sunscreen from Super Goop all over my face. And today I vowed to myself that I'm gonna be good with sunscreen because yesterday when I was at the pool, I didn't put shit on and I didn't have a hat and I was definitely in direct sun, so I was like feeling it on my face, which is horrible. Okay, and then I just wanna make sure my brows are all fixed and good. So we're gonna fluff them up. I really need to get my brows laminated again. And I also have like a kit at home. I'm gonna link down below when I did it myself cause it worked, like it worked at home and it saves you a buttload of money. I just bought an Amazon kit to laminate your eyebrows. And basically I forgot that I laminated it that day. So I accidentally got my um, eyebrows wet and you're not supposed to get them wet for 24 hours. And so then I really fucked up there. So I wanna try it again at home um, and just like make sure I do not wash my face for 24 hours, but then you kind of have to have a day where you're like not wearing makeup and I have to like plan for that. This is the Refi Brow Gel. Um, is there, I think it's just like the clear one. I'm not sure if they have like colored ones, but just brush it up. I think the main thing that my skin um, suffers from in the summer is just like unevenness. So you can see like this is where I kind of had that eczema flare up when I was on my trip to Italy. And now it's like really uneven and I just get like really patchy. Luckily foundation can cover that up, but I wish that there was like more of a solution for that. But I did make a dermatologist appointment and I haven't been to one in so long. 
but all these places are so booked out. I made all of my appointments, dentist, dermatologist, OBGYN, and I literally had to make it for like the next month out, which was kind of annoying, but totally fine, I get it. Just trying to use that insurance while I have it because I'm turning 26 this year and I'll get kicked off my mom's insurance and then I have to pay for it on my own. And I heard it's really freaking expensive. So just trying to use all the benefits while I can. Okay, I think that's it. Cause I'm just gonna wear sunglasses, you know? So it doesn't really matter about the makeup. We got our car packed up and I feel like we're going on like a two day trip with all the stuff we brought, um, but it'll be worth it. I, I hate not being prepared. This morning we woke up and it was really cloudy outside, so we were like, uh, darn it, but the blue skies are out. <laughs> They're out and it is sunny. It is currently 84, just 84? I can't believe that. 82. 82? Higher than Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna get up there. Bob Wentz Park and I don't know if I'm crazy like in my sunglasses it looks so blue and like the Bahamas but I don't know if that's the actual color but this is like one of the lakes we parked kind of up there it was kind of a trek not horrible but just so you know if you have like really heavy stuff you do gotta walk kind of Oh, that is not warm, but that feels good. What do you think? Was it a trek to get here? <laughs> um, well, you know, we hiked just about a, a mile in, but we made it. I think she's being dramatic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it feels really good. We just went in. At first it was cold, but it's actually pretty warm. But be sure to bring, like, water shoes. shoes. How are you doing that? Yeah, she's not quiet. sure. But there's, like, so many shells and rocks, so... Bring your water shoes. It's not like me and labor out there. <laughs> he was like still, holding my fell shoes. Off the edge of a cliff, like, <laughs> it's pretty rough out there because there's like so many boats that are going by that they create like super big waves. Okay. But it's time for our sandwiches. Thank you. What do you think? How'd I do? Taste test. <laughs> morning it is sunday but it kind of feels like a saturday because ryan has the day off tomorrow um but i'm starting the morning off with some steak and eggs we made steaks on friday night and in the packet that ryan bought there were actually three steaks so i was like we need to use that one steak up and i have like four eggs left i love when i like actually finish like the food in my fridge before it goes bad because last year it was really bad i would just buy like a lot of vegetables and fruits and i definitely overestimated the time that they could like sit in the fridge so i'm now learning that like fruits especially just go bad so freaking fast and today i actually was thinking about freezing the mint leaves that i have in my fridge and making like mint ice cubes out of them i feel like that could be cool and obviously it wouldn't go bad um but i'm just making the eggs over here just doing some easy scrambled eggs and then I just like seasoned the steak with some salt and then garlic powder. I don't really know what else to use. I also don't know where the onion powder is. Um, but Ryan is currently out getting us some summer moon, which is like such yummy coffee. I feel like I've definitely said this before, but I don't love the taste of coffee unless it tastes like a milkshake. So like my Starbucks order is literally an iced white mocha with oat milk and then i get salted caramel cold foam on top which is a game changer because it i think comes with whipped cream but at summer moon it really just tastes straight up like a milkshake it's so good so he's out getting that he took sophie so you can take her out we wanted to do like a hot girl walk this morning just like on the pedestrian bridge and like take sophie out but we might do that later honestly i woke up like really early because i wanted to edit my week in my life video that i hadn't started until 
today, which I always say like, okay, I'm gonna start editing throughout the week, like do Monday's footage on Tuesday morning, so on and so on, and I never do that. So next week, I'm really going to try to attempt to do that because I feel like I hate being rushed to get it up because I wanna post my week in my life on Sunday. So that's what I've been up to this morning. And also I think I stopped vlogging after we went to the lake. It was so much fun. I honestly do kind of hate to give away like these secret spots, but I know a lot of you do follow me for Austin recommendations. And it's taken me like a couple of years to find these spots. So I just wanna share my knowledge. So if you guys live in Austin and hate me for this, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I just can't keep my mouth shut about all the good stuff I find here in Austin. But that place was called Bob Wentz Park. You have to pay $5 per person in the car. Um, and they only take cash, let it be known. No credit cards, no anything else. So bring cash. I literally had to stop by the NGB on the way. There is a huge parking lot and we kind of stopped in the beginning of it. But if you go all the way down, it's a lot easier to walk down to like the water. And I noticed one side of like this little island in the middle was like really muddy and kind of like dark. And then the other side, like with my sunglasses, I legit thought we were in like Cancun or like the Bahamas. Okay, maybe not Bahamas because those waters are like very blue, but the water was so pretty. And because the boats were like, on kind of like the other side of the buoys there was like actually pretty rough waves like i was sitting in the tube and i was kind of getting nauseous because the waves were like rocking me so hard but it would definitely bring some kind of float like we also had pool noodles and those were amazing because you could actually like relax in the water i think it's like a 45 minute drive maybe 35 minute drive depending on like traffic and where you're um coming from but i would definitely go again because that's so fun like i was also thinking about it yesterday whenever i do like a boat day i'm always wanting to be in the water anyways like i don't really care about like the boat itself i just want to be in the water in the lake so this way i got to be in the water and it was a hell of a lot cheaper doesn't look too appetizing but i'm sure it's gonna be delicious all right, Ryan just got home. This is the winter moon. So freaking good. It's 12.30 and we decided to come over to the pedestrian bridge like in the sea home area and take a little walk, take Sophie for a little walk. And I put on a really cute outfit. I'm wearing an Outdoor Voices exercise dress. This is like the first one I've ever gotten from them. And then my aloe hat and my new Merrill tennis shoes. So I'm gonna break them in today. You guys ready? Sophie, are you ready? Hiding the brand. <laughs> the free ads are on here. <laughs> How much? One to two. What's your feeling? What's she feeling? Two? Mm -hmm. Memorial Day, you don't have to work tomorrow. I have a call tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I have to work too. Mm -hmm. It's just your two and a half. Okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Step three mix. No, we can get them free promos. We love this shit. Show it, show it. Agua Lima. Wait, Agua Lima. Wait, what? Oh, Agua Lima. <laughs> okay, we get it. Good. We're gonna go to the pool. I was like craving the water when we were like near the lake and I just like wanted to get in so bad, but the seaweed like in the lake these days, he said it's because the water was really low. So like the seaweed's always there. We just don't see it. But it like looks really bad. <laughs> 
and kind of gross and I was like, eh, I don't really want to get in that. So we're just going to go to the pool and I want to go underwater, but then I would probably have to wash my hair because I feel like I'm just like that kind of person. If I get my hair wet in chlorine or like the lake, I like have to wash it. I don't know why because I'm like scared it would be itchy, um, but I wash my hair two days in a row already and I feel like I don't want to wash it a third day in a row because you're not really supposed to wash your hair, especially if you have like dyed hair. Your like color will definitely last longer if you don't wash it as much. Life hack. It's a couple hours later and Ryan is currently golfing. I've been alone for some time now and I love it because I can like decompress from a day in the sun and the pool. Even yesterday he went golfing like after we came back from the lake and I'm like literally how I was dead tired. Like I was pooped yesterday. So I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he has energy, but I'm thankful he does because I've been watching YouTube alone and it just feels so nice to just like sit and not talk to anyone and just like binge like YouTube videos. I don't know. It's a good feeling. So anyways, I thought since I'm not doing anything right now, I did my skincare for like the night, I guess. And my eyebrows are not laminated at all. Like it definitely lost the lamination. So I wanted to do it again. And I've done it at home before, but I really messed it up because I got my eyebrows wet. Like I totally forgot. And I like went to wash my face and got them totally wet, like maybe a couple hours later. So I think that's really what messed it up because it didn't really stay for that long. But I know that these at-home kits are like pretty much the same thing as like getting them done professionally. And like the last time I got it done professionally was before I went to Italy just because I wanted to make sure it like lasted for Italy. But now I'm gonna try it again at home and this time we are gonna make sure I don't wash my face so it can really last a long time. And I also need to make sure that I'm reading the directions. Last time I think I skipped a step and I'm just like, so bad at reading directions. What I did last time is I went down like that, but it's really one, two, three, four, five, six. I was like, damn, I'm like the stupidest bitch, but it's okay. We're gonna do it right this time. You learn from your mistake. First step is the eyebrow glue. So here we go. It is plastic wrap time. I'm gonna let it sit for 10, 12 minutes also. I don't think I mentioned this yet, but I bought this whole kit on Amazon and I'm pretty sure it's really affordable. So I'm gonna link it down below because the steps are super easy to do. Like, you know, I feel like anyone can do this. So if you wanted to ever try the brow lamination thing and you, just thought it was really expensive because it is, honestly, especially if you could do it at home, then I highly recommend getting this. But I will say like the first day when your brows are laminated, it is a big shock. So just a heads up. Acid crap is off for the final time. And now I'm going to take off the solution. Here's the final product. They look really good. Like I said, it's kind of like a shock for the first day, but then they kind of like chill out a little bit. And I also need to remind myself tomorrow that I need to get my eyebrows actually waxed and trimmed because I don't think they've gotten an actual trim in a while and I'm scared to do it by myself, but they definitely need a good threading session. I go to Hollywood Beauty on Riverside and I tried the place on East. It's called Hollywood Brows and they made them way too thin, do not go there. Seriously, do not go there because I was like making sure I told them to like just clean them up a little bit and like told them I was growing them out. Very, very like clear on what I wanted and they took off way too much. So I will never stray away from Hollywood Beauty. It's kind of like very similar names, but they're different places. So just a heads up. Mm -hmm. 